Does any person in the world own this item? I don't know. F tier. All right, guys, we are going to rank every Apple product ever. Now, we're not going into the exact model of each thing, but if there was a major structural change, then I will happily add a new one in for that. For example, the iMac used to be a big fat computer and then it went to like a slim screen. So we'll have two iMacs. But besides that, we're just doing one of every single product Apple's ever released. Starting off with the AirTag. Now, AirTag actually, I believe, is a game-changing product. I think that the AirTag started a whole new series and a whole new way to track things. I'm actually gonna go straight away in the S tier. And I know that's a big deal, but I feel like I feel like it deserves it. I think it deserves it. All right, next up, we've got the Apple Mighty Mouse, not the Magic Mouse, the Mighty Mouse. Now, this thing right here was pretty terrible, I'll be honest. This thing, you know, I'm sure it was revolutionary in some way, but it's not ergonomic. The little ball thing, I remember using this a long time ago, not good. It's a C tier, it's not an F tier, but it's definitely a C tier. All right, next up we have got the Apple Vision Pro. Now this product, everyone cared about this product for about five seconds and now no one cares about it all. I've never seen one in real life. I just don't, I just think that in the future this is gonna be great, right now, no. This is going down into C tier. Don't get me wrong, an amazing product, but it's just not there yet. No one's buying these things, you know? All right, original iMac. Now, this thing actually wasn't very popular in Australia. I don't know about international, but this thing was a pretty amazing computer, but even still, I didn't see many of them around. It was necessary to come into the future, but at the point that this one was made, I just don't think it was kind of cutting it. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Uh, I think it nicely sits there. I only saw like one of these in real life ever. All right, this is actually the iMac Pro. Now, I thought this was really, really cool when it came out because it was just like a really powerful version of the iMac, which is already a great computer. But this thing got absolutely stomped by the Mac Mini so quickly that it became irrelevant so quickly. So even though it's awesome, it's actually a B tier product. This would have been an A tier product, but I guess the M1 technology just kind of like killed it so quickly, so B tier. Okay, this is the original iPhone and there is absolutely no doubt that the iPhone is a game changer for basically, basically every single person has a version of an iPhone in their pocket, even if it's not an actual Apple iPhone. The iPhone is the reason that we have apps on any kind of phone. It's the reason we have good quality touchscreens. It is just like, it was the original starter for the quality smartphone, iPhone is easily an S tier product. iPod Touch, maybe controversial opinion, I'm not sure, but I actually think the iPod Touch was the best iPod because it was actually really affordable at the time where touch screens and things like that were very new, very special. Uh, the iPod Touch was affordable and a lot of people had them. I thought they were actually really useful because you could use the internet, things like that, but it was just an iPod. It was really cool at the time, it was cool. These days, obviously, no one needs them anymore, but an A tier product. Okay, this is the original iPod. This is the first time we got like the scrolly clicker thing, and I would say this was a great product. This was necessary to get into the following iPod, which is the iPod Classic, which we will see in this list as well. This one falls for the classic uh, first timer kind of issue where it's just kind of not good enough to start off with so and too expensive so i'm going to put it as a b tier product amazing and necessary but again i only know one person that ever had one of these because they were just so expensive okay mac pro tower this was uh massive in the kind of commercial world where you needed to have more power than the laptops and the other things coming out this is a great product but again not too many of them around this is old school apple doing a great job it's going to go in b tier I think Apple makes a lot of B tier products because they are innovating so much. And then as it gets down the line, it actually becomes an A tier or S tier product. This one, solid B tier. Mac Studio, now this is exactly what I've just been talking about. Unlike the Mac Pro Tower, the Mac Studio is basically the new version of that. This thing is so powerful, so affordable. It's definitely an A tier product. This is a commercial quality machine at a somewhat affordable price. And the form factor is like this big. It's like literally the size of a Big Mac. Amazing. This is an A tier product, 100%. The MacBook Air is also actually an A tier product because it is actually such a usable machine. Not everyone needs powerful devices. Some people just need a great quality computer that does everything and is affordable. That's what the MacBook Air is and continues to be to this day, A tier. The MacBook Pro, I'm gonna put it right up there with the MacBook Air because again, 
it's basically serving the same purpose, but with more power. Some people need the extra power. It's a great product. I've used the MacBook Pro for a really long time now, and it's always been a top tier product. It's not a game changer, it's not an S tier, but it's definitely an A tier product. The original Macintosh computer. Now I'm just gonna put it out there. I know that this is probably a revolutionary item, but we had a couple of these at school that I went to when I was growing up, and I just, I, just, I don't know. I just don't know what you're supposed to really do on them. I feel like they're a bit early. Like they're almost like ahead of their time to the point where I don't even know what you can really do on it. Not really anything, I'll be honest. The iPod Classic is actually gonna be an industry disruptor. I'm putting it somewhere between A and S. Uh, you know what? We'll sneak it up into S because the iPod Classic is still sold to this day, exactly the same form factor, loads of storage, just great for songs. If you don't want any of the other faff, you get yourself an iPod Classic. It was the beneficiary of the original iPod. Okay, this is the first form factor of the slim style iMac. Uh, this is a great product and I think this just firmly just fits in the A tier for sure. It can just slot in here with the other ones, with the other computers. Very usable, great for the right purpose. Always did a great job. The iPad, this is representing all iPads because they haven't changed form factor that much even though this is the original one we're looking at here. The iPad is a game changer. I remember when the iPad came out and I was like, oh, why do you need like a bigger screen? Now I use an iPad literally every day and I think there's like millions of people that use these for their work, for productivity every single day. Absolute Apple game changing product, S tier 100%. Apple Magic Mouse, this is the least ergonomic mouse you ever use in your life. It is very useful for programs like Final Cut and things like that because of the kind of touch thing that's on top of it. It's actually really useful, but having the charging cable on the bottom so you can't charge it and use it at the same time and it's only powered by those batteries actually makes it our first F tier product. AirPods Pro, now I will tell you that AirPods Pro is a separate product to AirPods. AirPods Pro are excellent, but they are slightly too expensive, slightly unreachable uh, form factor. They are there for the Pro user and they're excellent. I'm gonna put them as a B tier product. They are amazing. I actually use them every single day. I think they're amazing, but they're not as affordable as what they need to be at this stage. AirPods on the other hand, these are a game changer. Now, when you go online, any kind of website and you look for wireless earbuds, guess what you see? Either these or everything else that looks exactly like these. They are an industry changing product. They go in the S tier, they go in the S tier. They're amazing. I had AirPods for a really long time. I use them every single day till they broke and then I upgraded to these and they are so good. Again, similar to the iPad. You don't know you need these in your life until you've got them. Apple HomePod. Does any person in the world own this item? I don't know, F tier. AirPods Max, I mean, they're really good quality headphones from what I hear, I've never used them before, but they are heavy and they are really expensive. I am gonna put them in B tier. Uh, another thing, similar to the AirPods Pro, it just needs the price, just needs to come down a little bit, you know? It just needs to bring the price down a little bit and then we'd be sweet. Bring the price down, bring the weight down and that'd be great, but for now, B tier. So there you go, that is your official list right there. We've got some amazing SD products. I feel great about everything in here, the least of which is the, uh, the iPod Classic. Uh, the A tier is just your daily power using products, amazing. B tier seems to be the ones that are kicking off, starting it all for the future. And then we've got C tier, a couple of meh products, and then we've got F tier. I'm gonna say either design faults or just not popular for some reason, I don't know, but I feel pretty good about that.